Hello, myself Janil. I welcome you all. Let us discuss consolidation today. Consolidation is a natural process. Consolidation happens by the time, but by natural loading or we can say static loading. Let us discuss technical sides of consolidation. For fully saturated soils, compression of soil happens due to expulsion of water from voids due to or under static pressure. It is called consolidation. We can see by this phase diagrams consolidation. Let us understand that here two phase diagram of a soil particle is shown. Now this red area is showing solid particles and white area is showing water particles. Now under static pressure, under natural static pressure, the soil particle will compress and due to that compression water particles will go out from this and due to expulsion of water soil particle volume will decrease and this process is known as consolidation. Let us move forward and understand stages of consolidation like initial, primary and secondary stages. When partially saturated soil mass gets under external loading, it gets compressed and decrease in volume is seen due to expulsion of air particles and compression of solid particles. This small decrease in volume of soil mass is known as immediate settlement or initial consolidation. Let us understand primary consolidation. So after initial consolidation or immediate settlement, further reduction of volume of soil mass is due to or known as primary consolidation. And secondary consolidation, the reduction in volume of soil mass continues at a slower rate and furthermore after expulsion of air voids or after primary consolidation further uh, decrease in volume of soil mass is known as secondary consolidation or creep settlement. Let us move forward. Spring analogy. The process of primary consolidation can be understood by spring analogy. Let us see that. In this figure, we can see a piston and a spring hanging on a cylinder full of water. It basically represents soil water system. In the first case, here piston and a spring is kept here and valve is opened and water is filled in this cylinder. Then external load is applied to the piston so that the spring and water is under pressure. Now let us assume we have applied 10 units of pressure. So in the first case the whole 10 units pressure will be taken by spring only and by not water because valve is opened. After this we will close the valve as the water is filled and we can see here there is no pressure on water. Let us move forward if we increase the pressure on a piston like if we have applied 10 units before we will increase 5 units more. As total load, total external pressure is of 15 units. Now valve is closed so that the external 5 units will be taken by water as the valve is closed. We can see here pressure in water is increased as it is 
five units. We know this equation as total stress is equal to effective stress plus neutral stress. Now, neutral stress or pore water pressure is here increased due to closing of the valve. So, there is five units borne by water and ten units by spring. If we open the valve partially and then close it, some water will get out from here and some pressure will be released from water. So now we can see that total 15 units of pressure is there. Before it was 10 units. Now on spring there is some increment in pressure that is delta sigma dash. So some delta effective stress is increased in this spring. And somewhat pressure that is delta sigma dash only that is decreased from water because the water got out. We can see here in the second stage there was some higher water pressure and in third stage there is lower pressure of water. Let us move forward. If we open the valve more and then close it we can see that some more water will be out of there and now total external pressure is taken by spring only. Now U is equal to zero here. So total stress is taken by effective stress and we can say that total stress is taken by spring not by water. Here we can see water pressure looks zero. So spring analogy can be understood for primary concentration of a soil water system. Here spring means solid particles where valve means permeability of soil and water means voids and water in the voids. So that's it for spring analogy. Let us move forward to void ratio and effective stress relation. Consolidation test is performed through the device consolidometer. Now, if a remolded clay specimen is tested in a consolidometer, their results can show the relationship between void ratio and effective stress. This graph will help us to understand the relationship between void ratio and effective stress. Here, AB curve, you can see the curve AB. AB curve represents a remolded clay specimen is given some pressure and the pressure up to which extent up to the extent at which it is not given pressure before that time. I mean we can understand that if the AB curve is the result then the pressure must be given up to highest extent up to that time. So AB curve is known as virgin compression curve. Now if the loading is stopped then the graph will move like this B to point C. The void ratio will move from B to C. It will not gain its original position due to some permanent changes in the soil structure. Here BC curve is known as expansion curve and CD. Let us move further. If I give further loading then from point C it will graph will go to D. Now CD is known as recompression as we are giving compression again. Now point B and point D can be differentiated as on same effective pressure there is a difference in void ratio. So it will not get original void ratio by giving recompression. Further giving load we can get DE curve. DE is also virgin curve. Now, if this curve is plotted on semi-rhythmic plot or semi-rhythmic graph, it can be seen like this. Here, we can see line AB, line CB are got straight. So, Tarzaghi has given some empirical formulas from this straight line curves and their slopes. Compression index. Tarzaghi has given 
E is equal to E0 minus CC into log 10 base sigma dash upon sigma dash 0. Here E is void ratio, E0 that is initial void ratio in starting. CC means compression index, log 10 base sigma dash sigma 0 dash. Here sigma dash is final effective pressure and sigma 0 dash that is initial effective pressure. And from that we can write CC as E0 minus E upon log 10 base sigma dash upon sigma 0 dash. That is how CC compression index is denoted. Now CC compression index value can be get from slope of line AB of slope of straight line AB in this figure. Let us move further. Another empirical formula given by Tazagi that is for swelling index. E is equal to E0 minus CS into log 10 base sigma dash upon sigma 0 dash. Here CS is the new thing. CS is swelling index. Now swelling index can be obtained from the curve BC. Slope of the curve line BC that is expansion curve is denoted as swelling index CS. CS can be written as E0 minus E upon log 10 base sigma dash upon sigma 0 dash. 